Hello everyone internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryu Kiva from Ryu Kiva Toku with another Toku unboxing. Today I am doing Kamen Rider 01's Izu, the secretary Izu. So I bought this for around four to five thousand yen new. Uh, so it's literally a very recent release. Uh, I believe it's a premium Bandai release. So going over with the box, we've got like the non-window look. So it's a nice shot of the figure. I'll be honest, the figure face looks pretty decent. I mean, you've got like, you can really see the joints in this figure, so on this shot rather. So they could have done better with the display pictures, but the promo releases online are actually a lot better. Obviously they go with this really bizarre spelling of Izu, as in is, okay. Uh, 2019, made in Japan, Bandai Spirits made in, no, designed by Tamashi Nations in Japan, Bandai Spirits made in China, Tamashi Nation logo, Bandai logo, uh, web logo, uh, Tamashi Nation quality seal of approval, nothing on this side, nice little shot of this side again, one of the promo images, it says is again, I'm, re I'm pretty sure they spell it as IZU in the series itself. And then on the back we've got a nice shot with the Zero One figure, sold separately, duh. Uh, again, all those typical poses, so the fact that she has no weapons should make this a quick video. Ages 15 and up, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under 3 years old. Bandai Spirit, so we've got like a lot of, I mean the thing is like with the blurb at the front it's kind of in that very mint green colour, so it kind of isn't as noticeable as some of the blurbs on the other boxes. SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates a Tamashi Nation action figure art under the theme pursuing character expression for humanoid action. Still don't know what that means. Uh, simple style and heroic action, Tamashi Nation. That's pretty much it, really. So, on with this unboxing. There goes the value. I'll be very surprised to see what the inlay will include. So it does have an inlay, even has like a number printed on the inside of the box. I wonder if that does have some signification. Right, I didn't actually know this was included, so I've taken one glance. I've noticed I've got the cloak, because like, a lot of people are saying that the attached calibre that comes with Vulcan doesn't fold or anything. So they've included a folded version that Izu chucks at. Aruto in the first episode right there, which is actually quite a nice addition to this. So I'll probably do a post her holding that. She comes with one, two, she comes with two identical pairs of hands. Then one, two, three, four, five, five sets and a set where it's two hands gelled together like in her typical pose, which probably could be done with that pair anyway, so I'm not too sure why, but it's a nice inclusion as well as a thumbs up with a glove on. You can change her expression like you do with some of the ex you know, premium, real premium Bandai releases, but you can do it with this one. So I'll have a quick go changing the face as well as with some of the hands. So looking at the figure, she is, a ve I mean that is, she's literally smaller than my hand. I can't say I've had many that are smaller than my hand. So plastic comes quick off. Let's have a quick look at her quickly. Um, I would say like the he you know, the Humor Gear headband looks pretty basic in my opinion. They could have done better with it, but you do get the nice green accents in the hair. I would say that is an honest reproduction of her face, kawaii. Um, I mean, I like the shininess of her coat, admittedly. But again, like with all the female figures, well, for most of the dinky female figures, they're quite, this one's quite dinky. I'm sure it is to scale anyway. So let's just check out the balancing. I mean, for me, I mean, it's not the worst. I mean, you never really see her on one leg anyway, but you do see her sliding. Which, again, with a little bit of perseverance can be achieved. I mean, she's got these real hollow heels for some reason. I don't know if you can see that. You can. Right, so, but like the skirt, yeah, it's kind of that nice mint green. She has these nice green mint accents as well as the green skirt. I mean, not, I mean, bear in mind she's wearing a long coat. She's not really gonna have too much uh, flexibility in the torso, but considering the sort of release this is, it's not too bad. 
I mean, me, me again, there was, yeah, like she, they could have either given her a really flexible coat, but not given it the great finish, or they've given her this plastic, nice, shiny look, but massively reduces her flexibility. But bear in mind, she was just a secretary rather than a full on action ac actress. It's not really necessary. I mean, I like the details in the hands. You've got the hidden intelligence QR code, I believe, there. I'll have a quick go at trying to change her face. So, yeah, the front bangs clip off. That does look pretty disturbing in my opinion. They could have put some like robot-y stuff there, but I guess not. So just a quick change of face for a change of pace. Oh, I guess she only has one additional alternative face, so I'll put that on real quick. I'd say the second face has, it's kind of like subtle differences, but there are differences and they both, I'll be honest, both faces look fine to me. I doubt the face will change the balancing, so I'll just go on with clipping off her hands. Those hands are very soft off, but where she's got really tiny pegs, I'm really hoping they don't snap. So I'll try the one clasping the attached caliber case. These hands are really tiny. So, the hands aren't the easiest to clip on, but they are very soft. I'll, oh, I can't do the Aritu Janito hand because it's the same hand that would clip that would clasp the Atash Caliber, the Atash Caliber case. So I'll have I'll do two poses. I'll do three more poses. So So there's literally this one hand that will clasp the case. And again those fingers so that's kind of like So the head actually has some so that's her about to chuck it at Aruto I guess. And then just a quick because I really want to try this hand. So that's her with a typical hands by her wayside, but she has just pointed at the camera for the end of the episode. Again, like just looking at the legs, I'm noticing like the green splash down the out down just one leg looks pretty good. I don't really know why she didn't have it down both legs. It would have been a little bit more symmetrical, aside from the fact that she's got a, a nice bow on her collar. Um, just to finish off, I'm going to take both hands off. And again, like I'm really liking the details on her fingernails. Like she has one green painted finger on each hand. But just to end this humbly and just to test how this will work. Yet yeah, these two hands are glued together. So hoping I don't snap them. Don't know if there's a pose on the box with these hands. No, there isn't. So you've really got to know what you're doing here. So very humble Japanese pose here. Again, not it's considering what it is, it's decently balanced. Um, got like two good face sculpts. The hands are small, soft and rubbery, and yeah, they pop on, pop off really nicely. And I'll say it's a nice little addition to the collection. So hope you enjoyed watching, and see you again next time.